Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create your own custom playing card. This tutorial is in two parts. In part one, we'll cover how to make your basic card design, and in part two, we'll add a face and other design elements. I provided a PSD file for you to download so you can follow along. Its link is located in the video's description or project files. This document is approximately 3 by 4 inches with a resolution of 300 pixels per inch. The size of most playing cards are 3.5 inches high by 2.5 inches wide. If you don't see the guidelines, press Ctrl H on a PC or Command H on a Mac. Let's make a simple gradient background for the card. Open your gradient tool and click on the gradient box to open the gradient editor. Click on the lower right stop and the color box. Type in 152A04. Click OK on both windows. Go to the top of your document and press and hold Shift as you drag down the gradient line to the bottom. Go to View and make sure Snap is checked. Make your guidelines visible and open your rounded rectangle tool. Choose Shape, the fill is white, no stroke, and the radius is 80 pixels. Click on the gear icon and make sure Unconstrained is chosen and From Center is not checked. Go to the top left corner of the guidelines and drag the shape to the bottom right corner. It'll snap in place because we have snap checked. We're going to make a thin rule box outline inside the card shape. In the Layers panel, click on the New Layer button to make a new layer. We'll name it Rule Box. Open your rectangular marquee tool and drag out a rectangular selection. Go to Select and Transform Selection. Type in 67% for the width and 81% for the height. Then press Enter or Return to accept it. Go to Edit and Stroke. We'll stroke it 7 pixels. The location is inside and the color is black. If it isn't black, click on the color box and pick black. Then click OK. To delete the selection, press Ctrl or Command D. Open your type tool and choose a font. I'm using card characters, which I also provided for you. If you're not sure how to install fonts, watch my tutorial on how to do this. I provided that link as well. Type in 30 points, choose Smooth and Center Text. Click on the color box and since I'm choosing hearts for this example, I'll type in DF1128. Since my card is the queen, I'll type out Q. To move it, open your Move tool, click on the letter, and move it to the center until it snaps in place. Open your Custom Shape tool and click on the arrow next to the thumbnail. Click on the gear icon and choose Shapes. Click OK to just see this set in the thumbnail window. There are two hearts to choose from. There's this one and this one. I like this one better, but if you prefer the other one, just choose that. Click on the gear icon and choose Define Proportions and From Center. Drag out the shape to approximately this size, and with your Move tool, drag it to the center below the letter. If you want to slide it up or down, press the up or down arrows on your keyboard. Let's merge the shape and the letter into one layer. Go to the letter and shift click on it to highlight both layers. Then press Ctrl or Command E. With your move tool, drag it outside the rule box. To slide it to the left, press the left arrow key. Make a copy of the letter and the suit by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Press Ctrl or Command A to select it all and Ctrl or Command T to call up your transform tool. Go to a corner 
and when you see a curved double arrow, press and hold shift as you rotate it around until it snaps to 90 degrees. Then press enter or return. Delete the selection. Merge the two layers and name it Queen's Hearts. Open back up your custom shape tool and choose another shape. Keep in mind you can choose different shapes from the ones I'll be using for this example but the shapes you choose must be symmetrical so if the card is upside down it'll look the same. I'm choosing the 8 point star frame. Click on the fill thumbnail and the color picker icon. I'll type in 0 for hue, 0 for saturation and 85 for brightness. Click on the gear icon and choose unconstrained and leave from center checked. Go to the center and drag out the shape to the inside edges of the rule box. I'll name it 8 point star frame. Make a new layer and I'll name it diamond. I'll click on diamond frame and for the color I'll pick black. I'll drag out the shape to just inside the edges of the first shape. Make a new layer and I'll type in 10 point star. I'll scroll to the 10 point star frame and click on it. For the color I'll click on the red heart to pick up its color. Then click OK. I'll drag out the shape to the inside edges of the rule box and change the blend mode to darker color. Make a new layer and I'll name it Registration Target 2. I'll click on the inside gear icon, choose Symbols and click OK. I'll click on Registration Target 2 and the gear icon. Click Define Proportions and for the color I'll choose a rich yellow FFF 200. We'll drag out the shape to confine it to the inside of the rule box. Control click or command click on the rule box thumbnail to make a selection of its shape. Press Q to make the selection into a quick mask. Make the foreground color white by either clicking on the curve double arrow icon or by pressing on the letter X. Open your paint bucket tool and click down outside the rule box to delete the area. Press Q again to make the quick mask back into a selection and then invert it by pressing Control or Command Shift I. Click on the layer mask button to make a layer mask of the selection next to the shape. Change the blend mode to darker color. Now that we have the basic design, in part 2 of this tutorial we'll add the face and the final design elements to complete our custom playing card. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.